Hello fellow CNC nuts and welcome. In this video I will demonstrate how to change a broken or dull tool on your Maso G3 well machining. This method works for both manual and automatic tool changes. To use this method you need to have Auto Tool Zero enabled in the F1 screen. You can also use this method if you've enabled Auto Tool Zero when manually requested. If a tool breaks or needs to be changed, first stop machining using the feed hold. Jog the spindle to a suitable location and change out the cutter. Once the tool is changed, open the F4 screen and open the tool you currently have loaded by double clicking on it. If you're unsure which tool is currently loaded, have a look at the top of the F4 screen where you will find it noted. Click the Auto Tool Zero button. This will measure the tool length and once it's complete, press the Save button. You're now ready to resume machining. Return to the F2 screen and press jump to line. The line number that's currently displayed is the last line that was machined, so you may want to start a few lines previous to this one. Enter the line number you want to start machining from and press start from line. Press run and the spindle will start and the x-axis will move. Press cycle start and the Y axis will move. Once you're happy that the cutter is in the correct position, press cycle start and machining will resume. Well, I hope you've found this useful and if you'd like to see more videos like this on using and setting up your Maso, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to ring that bell for notifications of all new videos. All that remains for me to do is to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.